Can you see me? Life in the campground. I'm up here at the hot tub and the uh, salt water pool they have here. I haven't been in a salt water pool. <clears throat> they say it's heated to 86, I think they told me. And the hot tub is like at 104? Huh? I can't hear you. So, there's nobody here. Let me turn this thing around. And I'll show you. If I can figure out how to turn this thing around. Okay, I'm going to have to edit this thing. I couldn't figure out how to turn it around while it was still recording. So, but here's a hot tub. Pretty good sized hot tub I'm in. And as you can see, there's nobody in it. I'm it. That's the saltwater pool over there. Let me get up here and, and walk over here for you. Oh, I'm gonna fall down. There's a saltwater pool there. It uh, starts up here real shallow, like six inches here, and then just a couple, three steps to go down. And it doesn't get real deep anywhere. I think the deepest part of it's right here, four feet. And it's got the uh, mixers up there. My cousin takes care of these pools. And uh, I didn't realize it was a saltwater pool until he told me. I don't know if I've ever been in a saltwater pool before. But this is all uh, the pool here. It's all brand new. This has all been rebuilt since Hurricane, what was it, Hurricane Harvey. And the roads are all paved with concrete. I think I've mentioned that before. That's a shower uh, and a bath. You can use it here for the pool, or if you want to use the shower, you know, for whatever reason it's in there, they're big. And then if you walk up through that away, and I'll get a video of that too, there's a shower uh, area, and there's like, I don't know, four or five, six showers in there, big. And then there's a laundry room up there, big. Uh, it all looks brand new. So, yeah, this is a, this is a good spot. The trees are weird. I don't know if you people are even pay attention to the trees, but I've been looking at them. They're some kind of an oak tree. Uh, my cousin told me what they are, but I don't really remember. I'm taking this with my cell phone, by the way, so I know the video probably won't be the best, but it is what it is. But the trees are just weird. They grow weird. And he said they're protected by law, so... I guess they look the way they look when, we, I guess, when you go through a hurricane. I mean, that's... If you survive, I guess this is how it works. So, let me go over here and sit down. I got my iced tea with me. Uh, it's supposed to have been raining all day today, but so far it hasn't done much of anything. It's just been cloudy. It's warm. Yeah, it's just been cloudy and warm. So, I decided to come up here and sit in the hot tub for a while. Been cutting some video today, getting that uh, a village's question and answer going, and um, I got some uh, more videos of the road trip coming down. I'm not sure how far we are, and I'll have to look. I did um, a harvest host one, and then there's a harvest host two. If I haven't gotten to the second harvest host yet, then then it'll get there, and then. I don't know if I posted a video about our arrival or not, or even done any video, but I do have a rock, uh, rock port file where I'm just videoing a lot of stuff and putting it in that file, and I'll mishmash it together to kind of give you an idea. You know, I, we're going to be here for a long while, for the whole month, so it'll give you a good idea what this place is like. So far, I found out in the rock port area that there's something like 70 campgrounds around here <laughs> that's a lot so I'm assuming this is a vacation spot I don't know what they do I don't know much about it but we'll find out so till then I'm gonna get out of here